Hello, my lovelies. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel. Today, <clears throat> in this video, we're going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite things on the planet besides makeup and skincare and nail polish. <laughs> but we are going to be talking about da, 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 perfume. And I'm talking about yummy perfume. I'm talking about perfume that puts you on and like you put on and it puts you in a mood. Like it makes you feel some type of way. Uh, premise of this video is going to be my top five favorite perfumes right now. So I have, when I first started my channel, I did a comprehensive, uh, like, uh, scent profile on my entire perfume collection or most of my perfume collection. Uh, it has grown since then. But that video is super, super long, and God bless the person that can get all the way through it. <laughs> it's a pretty long video, and it's pretty slow, and eh, kind of eh. So, I wanted to kind of redo that, but redo it in, like, a much easier to swallow kind of way. So, we're just going to be talking about fives, uh, five of my favorite perfumes. Uh, there is one honorable mention, so six in total, but this should be pretty short and sweet. So... I have, I pulled one perfume from each category. So we've got a warm scent, a floral scent, a fruity scent, a clean scent, and a fresh scent, so on and so forth. But these are, they range from affordable, super affordable, to fairly expensive. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a really good range, uh, depending on what your budget may be. But these are fantastic perfumes. Each and every one of these I absolutely adore for different reasons. They are just so, so good. And I really feel feel like they're like universally, like universal scents. Like they, they would smell good to quite a lot of people. I also tried to pull ones that are not quite as common um, and, and much more unique. So these are ones that don't get spoken about very often. They're not like, they're not common. They're not like on the beaten path. So the first one I want to talk to you about is the most expensive one uh, that I pulled. And this is Sexy Amber by Michael Kors. This is what the bottle looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It's just very sleek, very modern. It's got a really beautiful uh, gold uh, top. It's got kind of like, uh, it reminds me of like the logos on their purses. I'm a Michael Kors purse fanatic as well. But it's kind of got the studs on the cap. It just looks beautiful. It looks really nice sitting on your dresser or on your vanity. Uh, it's just an absolutely, and it smells as good as it looks, guys. So this is very warm. I want to say, if you guys know what amber smells like, it's very warm. It's akin to vanilla and like the warmth uh, part of it, but it's but it's not vanilla. It's almost musky, but not musky. It's it's a slightly musky, very, very warm, very, like, very sexy smell. It smells like it's very classy. It's ultra feminine. It's sexy. It's not super sweet. It smells more warm than it does sweet. But there is just, like, a an undertone of just sensuality to this perfume that just, oh, my husband absolutely adores this perfume. I love putting this perfume on right when I get out of the shower. Kind of mixes with like my just washed clean uh, body chemistry and, and it mixes and it reminds me of like crumpled sheets and dirty thoughts and complete and total satisfaction. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. It is so good. One of my absolute favorite perfumes in the entire world. I love this. I have had this bottle for, I want to say, over a year. I wear this very, very often. It is so strong. Like, not like super strong where it's going to give you a headache. But a spray is enough. Like, I can do three sprays and smell this all day. I smell this on my shirt the next day when I'm doing the laundry. It clings to you. And it kind of, like, envelops you in a cloud of just... It is so good. It is so good. One of my absolute favorite perfumes. Uh, this is pretty expensive. I believe this uh, goes around for around $150. You can get this on sale uh, sometimes for like $60 to $80. So if you can get this on sale, I highly, highly recommend. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, I believe. I'm so blind. 
yeah, 3.4 fluid ounces. So it's the big boy, but it is so good. So worth it. A bottle of this will last you forever. The next, the next smell I wanted to talk to you guys about is this one. This is another one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all time. So this is Jimmy Choo. This is Jimmy Choo Original. First of all, the packaging is absolutely stunning. It is a really beautiful kind of like smoked cut glass container. So, so gorgeous. And then the topper is beautiful. It's understated. It's black. It's got silver, uh, a silver border. It is so, so beautiful. The bottle just looks expensive. This perfume is expensive. Uh, it's not super, super, uh, like could never afford it. Uh, but I believe this bottle, this is the, this is the 1.3 fluid ounce bottle. I believe this runs for about 40, $60. It's, it's fairly pricey, but I tell you what, it is so worth the money. Uh, this perfume is just elegant. It is just, it smells clean. It's not floral and it's not fruity. I guess if you had to, if I had to, I would say it's closer to floral than it is to like sweet or candy. It's not fruity at all. It's, I'm sick. So I'm, I'm trying to like really get it up in there so I can really kind of like explain it to you guys. It is just, it's, it's clean smelling while still being completely feminine. It is so, so feminine, but not in a sweet candy way. It's feminine in like, I am woman kind of way. Like this makes me think of like, you know, like a, a, a suit, like a woman who owns herself she owns she knows exactly what she's doing exactly where she's going it smells like old money it smells like it is just class in a bottle it is so elegant and so beautiful very very stunning unique fragrant fragrance i have never smelled anything that even comes close to the way that the original jimmy Choo perfume smells it is so one of a kind it is truly truly special i absolutely adore this uh, this perfume. I think that this is perfect for everyday wear. If you wanted to make this your signature fragrance, you definitely could. This just smells like sophistication and power. It smells like feminine power in the most beautiful, beautiful way. Uh, the wear time on this is exceptional. Uh, a couple of squirts of this and you are good to go. Um, you will smell this on yourself all day. It is not overpowering. It is subtle and beautiful and oh, just absolutely an amazing perfume. I love this stuff. Uh, this was my signature uh, fragrance for a very long time. I absolutely love this perfume. The next one I want to talk to you about is another kind of pricier one. Uh, this is I, I think this is about a $90 bottle of perfume. Uh, I do think that it is completely worth it, though. Uh, any, everything that I'm showing you today, I have worn. It has been tested. It is a tried and true, absolutely uh, amazing perfume, guaranteed to get you noticed, guaranteed to get you compliments. I get complimented on these two every single time I wear them. Every single time I have somebody come up to me and say, that I smell the best they, the, I'm the best thing they've ever smelled in their life. Same goes for this next one. Uh, this one is a bit more common. Uh, a lot more, a lot more people know about this one, which is why I don't wear it super, super often. But I just, mm, it is so good. Oh, this is Gucci Bamboo. Let's talk about the, just make sure you guys can see. This is Gucci Bamboo. Uh, let's talk about the container. Okay, so packaging chef's kiss so so gorgeous again you've got this really beautiful very very heavy like if you threw this at somebody you'd probably go to jail kind of heavy uh really beautiful cut glass decanter you've got this really minimal uh kind of bottle topper on it looks almost like a like a, a wine uh a wine opener but like in the least tacky way possible. I just think it's absolutely beautiful it looks so sophisticated it's gorgeous sitting on your dresser Got a nice little pump. Uh, this is the, I think this is the 3.4. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. So two and a half fluid ounces. This costed me around $90. Uh, mm, 
So this is, I would say this is more floral. I'm actually going to spray this one. It is, it is definitely floral. Gucci is like known for their floral fragrances. But it's floral and it's clean. Mm. Yes, it's definitely like a clean floral scent. There is no rose in here what, whatsoever. So if you don't like rose perfumes, that is totally okay. This has got your back. It manages to be floral and clean all at the same time. It's like floral and citrusy, slightly citrusy. Very clean, very elegant, very sophisticated. This smells like a rich person's vacation. It smells like... It smells like old money again. It smells like... It just smells like sophistication. It smells like... It's not like an older woman fragrance by any means, but it is the most, it is at the absolute most sophisticated floral fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. It's clean. It reminds me of like waterfalls and rainforests, how like a really expensive rainforest would smell. It's just, it reminds you of like dark spaces and dripping water and, oh. It's so, so good. It is, it is earthy and floral and sophisticated and just absolutely scrumptious. The wear time on this is fantastic. Again, not quite as long as the Michael Kors, but still you're going to get a full day's wear out of this with just a couple of sprays. Uh, I like to put this on on my pressure points. I find that it does react to body heat really, really well. So let's say you get hot and it just kind of like wafts uh, around you. It envelops you in this cloud of just like it's like a vacation in a bottle that's really what it smells like to me it just smells like adventure and just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous gorgeous floral perfume I love this one uh, the next one I want to talk to you about is a fruity one now as I've gotten older and as my uh like scent preferences have uh what is the word I'm looking for? Evolved, have evolved. I have kind of strayed away uh, from the more fruity, sweet scents just because I feel like they're a little bit more common. And I just, I want a distinctive scent. I want a dis distinctive perfume that's really going to set me apart from everyone else, which I think is, is kind of one of the best things about a perfume. People don't understand how closely scent is linked to memory. And when you really get like a signature fragrance, and something that really goes with your body chemistry. When somebody thinks of you, they're going to think of the way that you smell. And it is such a compliment and such a beautiful, beautiful thing for somebody to just know. Scent is so comforting. It really is just such a comforting, wonderful, wonderful thing. I remember my mother, she used to wear uh, Cinnabar from Estee Lauder. And to this day, whenever I smell anything that smells remotely like Cinnabar, I think of my mother because it was just how she smelled and it evokes wonderful for the most part wonderful beautiful memories um and that is the same thing that i try to do with my signature scent um and i find that you know fruity scents are just they're just a younger they're just they just seem younger to me uh this one though this is bella no this is a more by vince camuto uh, I thought I grabbed Bella. I'm actually talking about Bella, but I'll talk about this one. Bella is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is Amour, and this is, it's fruity, but it's a sophisticated fruity. It doesn't smell like candy. This smells like, <sighs> it is very, very girly. It is very, very girly. It smells young and hip and fun and very, very flirty fragrance. I almost want to say it smells, oh, it smells slightly like watermelon. Like that's the top notes I'm getting is like very watermelon-esque, but in a sophisticated, more grown-up way. And then you've got a, a, a slight kind of floral undertone to it that mixes with the fruity and elevates it. So instead of it just being like a super fruity candy-like fragrance, you've got that backdrop of something floral and slightly fresh to kind of like elevate it and make it something more. 
if you pref prefer like a very, this is very, very sweet as well. So if you prefer like a fruity, sweet uh, perfume, this is an excellent, excellent one to kind of try out because it is that, but it is so much more. It's elevated. It's sophisticated. I feel like it's more womanly than just, um, you know, like a super sweet candy-like fragrance. This has got an air of sophistication to it that I think really sets it above other fruity fragrances. It is absolutely delicious. It just smells like summertime and fun. You know what I mean? And not only that, but the packaging is just absolutely stunning. This is the 1.3, uh, This is, is this 1.3? This is the one fluid ounce. So this is a teeny tiny little guy. This is one fluid ounce, but absolutely stunning. Uh, the wear time on this is not like forever, but you do get a good like four to six hours of wear out of a couple of sprays of this. The packaging is just absolutely beautiful. The topper I think is so stunning. It looks expensive. Uh, the price for this is not outrageous. I don't exactly remember uh, what I paid for this, but I do know that I picked this up at Burke's. Uh, and a lot of times you can find them at Burke's uh, for, you know, for a marked down price. But this is just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful fragrance. If you like that very kind of light, fresh, uh, very sweet kind of fragrance, I really, really think that you should check this out. This was uh, Bella by Vince Camuto. So good. No, Amour, Amour, Amour by Vince Camuto. So, so good. Uh, the next one I want to talk to you guys about is something different altogether. So, I don't know if you are familiar with Vera Wang, but she makes some of my absolute favorite uh, perfumes. She makes one that's called, it's Periwinkle and Iris. Peri, yeah, Periwinkle and Iris. It's a purple, uh, it's a purple perfume. Oh my God, it is so elegant elegant and sophisticated and sexy and feminine. It is so, so good and I can't find it anywhere. I have a little bit of it in a body spray, but I can't find the actual perfume anywhere and it breaks my heart because it's one of my absolute favorite fa fragrances of all time. I don't have that in my collection or else that's what I would be talking about today. Uh, but the next best thing is this. So this is just Vera Wang. Vera Wang by Vera Wang. See if I can get it to show up for you guys. Uh, this container, I think, is so elegant. It is so understated and so classy. Really, really beautiful. I love the color of it. I love it that it's got this like light blush tone with like this clear glass component. Super, super beautiful. The topper is just kind of a square, very understated, very uh, minimal uh, kind of topper. Really, really, really gorgeous. You could put this in any kind of decorated, in any style uh, decorated of a bedroom and it would fit right in. It just goes with everything. And I love that about this. Uh, Vera Wang is very about timeless elegance. She is timeless. Her scents are timeless. They are, they just are forever. I love that about her stuff. Uh, this one is no different. This is, oh, I, I want to say this is a, another kind of like floral fragrance. It is very, very floral. But it's floral in not like a flower way. It's floral in like a fresh, clean way. This is a very clean, fresh floral fragrance. Uh, this is, this again is perfect for everyday wear. This is something that could 100% be your like signature fragrance, like your everyday go-to. It is clean and fresh. It smells like you just got out of the shower and used super expensive shampoo and conditioner and body wash. Like it just smells clean. It's got that hint of like slightly floral undertone, but for the most part, it just smells clean. It makes me think of, of the ocean and like the waves and just clean laundry, like just that kind of smell. It's not powdery in any way. It's not like in your face floral. And this is not like a super strong fragrance either. It's very subtle. It's subtle and it's clean and it's elegant and it's timeless and it is perfect for everyday wear. I just wanted to throw something in like this in case you're not really into, you know, like super strong fragrances, but you want something that's just going to kind of like 
be pretty. And that's what this is. It's just a very pretty everyday fragrance. Not super expensive. Again, I picked this up at Burke's. I believe I paid about $30 for it. Uh, but this is the big bottle. I think this is the 3.5 or 3.7 fluid ounces. No, this is four, four fluid ounces. So this is a big boy. Uh, this is a four fluid ounce container. This is going to last you forever. Staying power on this is not exceptional. Uh, it's, you, I mean, f four or five hours max, and it's going to like gently fade away, but it's not super strong in the first place. Uh, it's just a very subtle, clean smell, and I love it for that. I love putting this on before bed, like right after I take a shower, right before I slip under the covers. I love to put this on myself just, and it just kind of like smells clean and comforting and is great to go to sleep too. So those were my top five absolute favorite perfumes right now. Uh, the one honorable mention that I wanted to talk to you guys about was this one right here. So this is uh, number six or number seven from Liz Claiborne. Uh, the packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous. So, so beautiful. This is so cheap. This is so, so cheap. I get this off of uh, Fragrance X, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a minute. Um, and I pay, I think I paid $12 for this entire container. Uh, this was a tester, so that's why it was just a little bit cheaper. But even if you get a brand new box, like with, that comes with a box in the topper and everything, it's not expensive. Nobody knows about this fragrance. Nobody I have ever spoken to about like perfume and stuff knows what this is. And that makes it that much better. This is Japanese cherry blossoms, as I'm sure you can tell from the, from the bottle. First of all, the bottle is absolutely stunning. I love the cherry blossom print on the front. You've got this really beautiful, almost like blush toned, uh, frosted glass component. And then you've got a red, uh, sprayer. It comes with this, which you is kind of like the stopper and you put it here to keep it from spraying. And it just keeps everything nice and neat and clean. So you could definitely travel with this and not have to worry about it. I love the little beads. It just brings like a very oriental uh, kind of uh, vibe to the whole thing. And this, uh, this smell is very oriental to me. It is a floral. It is a floral. But it's not like a floral in your classic sense. It smells very much like Japanese cherry blossoms. That's the top note. And if you ever have ever used anything like cherry blossom, you know the smell that I'm talking about. It's sweet and floral and fresh and very light. Um, this is not a subtle perfume, but it is very light. It just kind of like envelops you in this like, it's a very happy fragrance to me. It smells, it's slightly sweet slightly floral, slightly spicy. This is just so unique and totally worth mentioning. It is such a unique fragrance and nobody knows about this. Nobody, you, you ask anybody uh, if they've ever smelt uh, number six by Liz Claiborne and they will not, they will, they will not, they will not have known it or ever smelt it because it just, it never blew up like that. But I stumbled upon this at, believe it or not, at the dollar store. I got a little, um, like years ago, I got like a little, uh, tiny, like tester set of fragrances. And this was in there and it was in the body mist form. And I just fell in love with it. And I, I hunted for it for years and finally found it on fragrancex.com, which brings me to uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So this is not sponsored. Fragrance X doesn't know who I am at all, but I do give them a lot of my money. So Fragrance X is an on online retailer. Uh, they have all kinds of perfumes for like really, really discounted prices. It's like an online perfume warehouse. It is so good. I use them for all of my uh, like perfume purchases because nine times out of 10, I can find perfume on there for so much cheaper than I can anywhere else. Also, you get the, the, uh, the, the choice, I guess, or the option of buying testers, which saves you so much money. Testers are brand new. They've never been used. They've never been sprayed. 
but because they don't have a box or a lid, they're so much cheaper and they're so worth it, guys. And especially, I'm not, I don't care if I get the box and I don't care if I have the lid. I just want the, the bottle, you know what I mean? And that's what you get. And not only do you get it, but you get it at such a cheap price. And you know me, I don't pay full price for anything. So if I can get something super, super cheap, I am on it. I am on it, guys. And this is so, so good. FragranceX.com. You'll have to go check it out. So good. And especially for like Christmas presents and stuff. I know it's super late now, but for next year or even for birthdays, Mother's Day, any kind of gifts, best friend's birthday, guys, perfect. Everybody loves perfume. Everybody loves to smell good. Fragrance X has got your back. Got your back. Love this stuff so, so much. Uh, that is the video for today. Super short, super sweet. I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you guys saw something that you liked. I love perfume. If you guys would like me to like make this a little mini series and do like five perfumes every video, keep it nice and short and sweet. I can totally do that. I have perfume for days. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see me uh, kind of like talk about and analyze uh, five more fragrances and so on and so forth. Uh, if you guys like the makeup look that I have on today, I actually filmed this one. This one will be uh, probably live before this video goes live. So go and check that out. That This is look number six in our eight days of holiday looks. I am so into it. I think it's so, so pretty. Really a fresh new take on a holiday festive kind of party look. And I'm here for it. I love it so, so much. Almost as much as I love you guys. Guys, as always, <clears throat> no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera doing my makeup and talking about perfume and hoping you guys are digging it. Guys, I know your time is precious and I'm so thankful you choose to spend it with me. I love you so, so much. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And remember, you're important. Bye. <laughs>